okay so in this video uh, we will try and find the center of a dihedral group right so the center of a group which is represented by this is actually the group of elements group of elements a such that ag equals ga for all G belonging to the group, right? So basically what they are saying is that the center of group will contain all those elements which itself are from the group. So all those elements from the group that commute with every element of the group. Okay, that is, that is a, uh, the collection of that set is called the center of a group. So to find the center of a dihedral group, we first need to understand what kind of elements are there in the in the dihedral group, right? So let's see, G is our dihedral group of N N gons. Or yeah, I say it again and again. It can also be written 2N, same thing, different books, right? Don't get confused. So now let's see. Uh, a center of this dihedral group. Uh, it can contain no yeah it can contain either rotations right or flips these are the two kinds of elements that exist in a dihedral group so these are the two kinds of elements that can exist in its center right now we have to find the elements which commute with every element Okay, so let's begin. Now see, rotations as we know, rotations will commute with each other always, right? It doesn't matter, like uh, if I take D4, it doesn't matter if I rotate it at 180 degree first and then 90 degree or if I rotate it at 90 degree first and then 180 degree it will still lead me to the same position right so rotations always commute with each other okay so now our focus should be on the flips because we are looking for the elements that commute with rotations as well as flips so okay first thing is clear that rotations commute with rotations right now do all the rotations commute with flips that we have to find out okay so basically what we have to find out is that what kind of rotations are okay i'll write this n here or wait and let's let's clear this notation r not i'm writing as small r r90 is my r oh my bad wait this is e right this is E, this is R in my notation. R180 is R square and R270 is R cube, right? So just to make it clear, like in books, it is written differently, okay? So I'll be, no confusion, and there should not be any confusion, okay? So now I have to find those rotations i don't know what n is it could be one two three four okay so i have to find those rotations f is my flip which commute with flip so i have to find these n's which commute with all the flips right so yeah let's begin we know Okay, we know that r to the power n f is equal to f r to the power negative n, right? We proved it earlier. Okay, now this thing is also written as uh, r n s equals s r n inverse, right? One is the same thing. Okay, so we know this to be true and we are looking for this, right? Now look carefully left hand side is same 
so what we do uh, what we need is we need the right hand sides to be the same okay then if we need them to be same let's take them to be same we are actually calculating for n right so i need this basically now what this tells me is that i need all those rotations which are inverse of themselves because only that will be the case when fr n will be equal to fr n inverse right rn and rn inverse should be same okay now when is this possible well one option is r not no rotation is its own inverse right so e or like this r0 so first rotation which commutes with every rotation as well as every flip is this one right now let's observe this let's say we have a hexagon and we have a pentagon right now tell me okay first why i'm making these figures only other rotation that comes to my mind is r180 right because it orients the position of our polygon in the reverse and we know it is symmetric so it just orients it the other way around rotate it, rotates at 180 degree okay so tell me if i rotate this 180 degree and i rotate this 180 degree which one of them is symmetrical across this axis of rotation of 180 degrees obviously this hexagon is symmetrical not a pentagon right so what this tells me is that when n is odd then r naught will be the only rotation that will commute with all the flips as well as all the rotations but when n is even then i'll have r naught as well as r180 right because and this is just because you know you see r180 is r square and r180 inverse is also r square right because we know r4 gives us back e right i hope this is clear or do i need to explain this as well okay let's what's the problem i shall okay now this is my e and my r180 will be 1 2 3 and 4 i rotated twice right so now how do i get back to e simple i'll rotate it again twice okay so I'll apply R180 again on this and I will again get my identity element, right? So that is why R180 is its own inverse, okay? So we can conclude that Rn, sorry, this Frn, Fr negative n here n can either be 0 or 2 that means we can either have e or r square or like somewhere it is written like this right so this is the case when we have even number of edges of a polygon and if we only have odd then just r naught so what we can say is that the center of a dihedral group consists of R0 when n is odd 
and R naught and R one eighty when n is even. Right? I hope this is clear. But yeah, if you have any doubts, just ask me in the comments.